Our Kirk on the little island of Schau and Divalant is written the final chapter to the tragic drama of the Dutch floods. Since disaster overwhelmed the land in February, the people have struggled to mend more than 500 breaches in the sea defences. Vast caissons, originally designed for Mulberry Harbour, used at the Normandy landings, are sunk to block the last remaining gap in the dikes. Clay, sand and boulders are dropped near the caissons to give added strength to the giant concrete units, each of which weighs 7,500 tonnes. Steel torpedo nets have been sunk in the breach to provide a mattress for the caissons. The last unit will be towed to its final position when night falls and the tide is low. When the sea burst through the dikes early in the year, 433,000 acres of land were flooded. 1,400 Dutch people lost their lives, and on this island alone, one out of every six inhabitants was drowned. A diagram shows how the final caisson will be moved. Floodlights shine down upon the scene as, almost at midnight, the last unit is moved towards the gap. Her Majesty Queen Juliana and Prime Minister Dr. Dress share in this moment of triumph. The dike is closed and celebrations begin throughout the country. The battle against the waters has been won. Now Holland prepares to rebuild the land she has made free again.